Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part two of our series of session on Tally's release 4.0, where in the last video, we covered the highlights of release 4.0. In this video, we will cover the first major highlight, which is the dashboard feature that has been provided in 4.0. We will walk through various configurations, features, and how we can manage the dashboard for your organization. So this dashboard I'm going to cover in two parts where we will walk through every features that you can handle for the dashboard to configure the dashboard the way you wanted the dashboard at any given point in time. So let us go to Tally and explore this wonderful feature of dashboard. Dashboard in Tally Prime is placed right on the gateway of Tally. The keyboard shortcut to access dashboard is O or you can navigate down the menu and select dashboard and press enter. The dashboard feature of release 4.0 is flexible, user configurable and very simple to configure your own dashboard and you can save your favorite dashboard and recall your own dashboard by just click of a button. You can have unlimited views of different dashboards of your choice by saving them for later recall. Once you are inside the dashboard, we will view the default tiles provided in Tally Prime. Basically, this is the sales dashboard that is provided by Tally. The dashboard feature offers you the following facilities. If you observe on the right hand side button bar, you have add tile, remove tile, configure tile, and you can also delete your own saved dashboard view. There are 41 ready tiles at your disposal for you to make use of these tiles. Tally provides two predefined dashboard namely sales dashboard that is what you are seeing here on the screen and purchase dashboard. This will quickly help you in creating your dashboard with associated information. If you observe there are 10 tiles in the sales dashboard. Let us understand the navigation for actions you can perform within the dashboard. Important clue, just concentrate on the right hand side button bar. You will be comfortable in leveraging the dashboard features. The first understanding for all of you is how do you find out which one is the active tile the cursor is on. It is very simple. The tile which has got orange border is the current active tile. If you press enter on the active tile, you will be drilling down to the actual data. My sales trend is the active tile here. When I press enter, it will take me to the voucher listing. Escape. Observe the sales trend tile. In the line graph, you will observe that an orange dot is indicating the month. You will observe that the dot is in the month of April 2022. We can also notice that the highest sale has happened in the month of October. Take your mouse to the month of October and when you click on this blue dot for the month of October, now the month of October you have this orange tile. The other way for you to navigate to these months is you can use right arrow to move forward or down arrow to move forward. If you want to go back to the previous month, then you're going to press left arrow or you're going to press up arrow to move to the previous month. Right for the next month, next month or down for the next month and up for previous months or left arrow for your previous month. So you will observe the orange dot moving on each of the month. Now we are currently in the month of October. If you want to see the transactions related to the month of October. Since the highest sale has happened in the month of October, all you have to do is just press enter. When you press enter, tally is now going to take you to the month of October. And these are the transactions for the month of October. You can drill down to go to the voucher, select a particular voucher 
and press enter we are in the voucher and just in case if you make any changes to any of the value inside the voucher and the moment you save the voucher tally is going to update the information on real time basis once you save the voucher the information will get updated and once you press escape the value also will get updated in your sales trend tile or any tile where you are making any modifications the next thing that we have to now understand in the tile is how do we now move from one tile to another tile or navigate from one tile to another tile the easiest way is select the tile you want to make it as active tile just click on that and you will observe that the orange border is now on purchase trend you can navigate to any tile using the keyboard shortcut also look at the bottom button bar here you have this button which says if you want to move to the next tile then you have to use control and right arrow so let me just demonstrate that let's say we want to move to the next tile so you're going to hold control and you're going to use the right arrow now my active tile has become cash in and outflow again i'm going to press i'm going to hold control and i'm going to press right arrow it will now move to the next tile so you are observing that it is moving to the next tile to move to the previous tile again the button it says control plus left arrow so hold the control key and left arrow will take you to each tile backwards the other way to navigate the tile is using your tab button when you press tab it will automatically move to the next tile and when you hold shift and tab it will now move to the previous tile current view that we are viewing here is the horizontal view of the dashboard tiles if you want to change the view from horizontal what other view that tally provides if you see on the right hand side button bar you have this button called change view click on change view and you have the other view which is in the vertical format so press enter and we will now see that our tiles are now arranged in the vertical format so you can press control h to change view i'm going to press control h and then select horizontal you will get the horizontal view let us now understand handling period in the dashboard by default the dashboard will open with the data of the current year if you observe here this company's current year is april 22 to march 23 and all the tile in the dashboard has the same period for the current year all the informations are getting listed in each of the respective tiles you have an option to change the period for individual tile or for the entire dashboard so how do we do that on the right hand side button bar you see this button f2 period and when you click on this blue arrow on the left click here and you will now observe that you have period alt f2 again which is a period i'll tell you what what we can do with this and there is control f2 so if you see here if you want to change the period for your active tile then you use alt f2 where you can specify the period that you want to view for the current tile and in case if you want to change the period for the entire tile in this dashboard you can now click on control f2 so now let me just put my cursor on sales trend and let's say we want to change the period of sales trend from April to September. So in this case, I'm going to press F2 or you can press Alt F2 where I can change the period. So from 1st of April to 30th of September, we want to change the period. Now you will observe here the sales trend is change the period from 1st of April to 30th of September. And the other tiles, if you notice, they have the information for the entire financial year so this is how if you want to change the period for any particular tile you can use f2 or alt f2 to change the period now let's say you want to change the period for the entire tiles in this dashboard so in this case we are going to use control f2 and we are going to say 1st of april to 30th of september enter and you will observe that all the tiles in this dashboard has the period of six months now that is from april to september in each of the tile you can observe that it is for the six months period is what we are seeing as i mentioned tally provides you two predefined dashboard this is the sales dashboard that we are seeing how do you now change or navigate to 
the purchase dashboard there are two ways of navigating one is click on go to and if you see here you will see this menu which says purchase dashboard and sales dashboard so we are seeing and it says that predefined dashboard these two predefined dashboard you cannot delete it like i mentioned earlier you can create your own dashboard and for some reason if you want to modify your dashboard with some period or add any tile you can do so and you can save them and just in case if you don't want the dashboard you can delete it but you cannot delete the predefined dashboard provided by tally so now let's select purchase dashboard click on purchase dashboard and you will now see the purchase dashboard is listing all the related tiles related to purchase and by default again the period is going to be april to march and now you know how you can change the period for each of the tile or for the entire dashboard in the next video we shall explore more options for dashboard and also learn how we can create our own dashboard by leveraging this 41 tile provided for dashboard i hope this video would have given you a quick understanding of how you can comfortably navigate the various tiles and how you can quickly configure the dates and other simple configuration that we saw in this video in the next video we will also see how you can do more with the dashboard so thank you all once again for staying till the end see you all in the next session thank you very much